a group of students shared some bookmarks among themselves. They tried taking nine bookmarks each, but found that the last student had only five bookmarks. In other words, they are short of bookmarks. Okay, the last student is supposed to get nine also, right? But he only had five, which means it's a shortage of four bookmarks. Now, when each student took seven bookmarks, there were 10 bookmarks left over. So this is an excess scenario. How many students were there? Now, to do such questions, it's good to list out the two scenarios. Okay, so scenario one uh, will be, uh, as we've discussed earlier, 9 minus 4, a shortage of 4 bookmarks. Okay, scenario 2, on the other hand, will be an excess. Excess of how many? Excess of 10 bookmarks. Okay, now to do this question, what we can employ is the... We can use what is known as the gap and difference method. Okay, so let me write that step again. Okay. Okay, so gap and difference, right? So the gap is going to be equal to 4 plus 10. Now, when one is shortage, the other one is excess. We will take these numbers, we add them together. 10 plus 4, we'll get a gap of 14. Okay, and as for the difference, as the word suggests, difference means subtract. Okay, this is always a subtraction. We subtract both the scenario cases, right? First scenario, 9 bookmarks, right? Second scenario, 7 bookmarks each. So 9 minus 7. The bigger number minus the smaller one. And we'll have 2. And the last step, we'll be able to find the number of students. Okay, you just take the gap, divide by the difference. So 14 divided by 2, that will be 7 students. Okay, we'll do a check in a short while. But before that, I just wanted to explain this. Again, if you have one excess, one shortage, you will always add numbers. If both are shortages, you will subtract. Okay, so if you have S and S, or excess and excess, then you do a minus. Okay, but if one is shortage, another one is excess, then you will do a plus. You add them up together to find the gap. So seven students, right? It's the final answer. Now, how do we check? We can do a quick check by using scenario one and scenario two. So scenario one, if you have nine bookmarks for each of the seven students, nine times seven, that will be 63 bookmarks, but you'll not be having enough. You will have a shortage of four. So the actual number of bookmarks is 63 minus four, which is 59. Now let's check with scenario two. Okay, scenario 2 says that you give each of the students 7 bookmarks. So 7 times you have 7 students, right? So 49 and even then you will have 10 excess, right? 10 excess. So actual is 49 plus 10, that will be 59, which is the same for both scenarios. Okay, that's how you can do a quick check. Final answer for this question there were 7 students.